Welcome to WebStyle Plus. CSS minification is the process of removing unnecessary characters and white spaces from a cascading style sheet or CSS file. In order to reduce its file size, the purpose of minification is to make the CSS file smaller and more efficient for faster page load times. It can help improve website performance and user experience. So here question is how to minify a CSS file. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay. There are many online tools available that can minify a CSS code. Search for CSS minifier and you will find many. Paste the CSS code in the tool. Select language CSS or JS. Obviously, we have got this CSS. So I will select CSS. Click minify and it will provide minified CSS code. Code editors can also minify code. If you use Visual Studio Code, open directory containing CSS file in Visual Studio Code. It is important. Don't just open CSS file. Open project that has CSS file in it. Like I have opened this project that has got CSS file in it. Search for minify extensions. From extensions, search minify. Install any extension related to minification. I have got minify installed, JS and CSS minifier is installed. After installation, enable the extension, read the instructions about how to use it. You can also check the settings for the extension that you have installed. But in most cases, that's it. After that, open CSS file, press F1, type minify you shall see commands related to minification like minify document minify file minify directory select command that says minify file or minify document select the file that you want to minify and css will be minified in separate file this is the minify code in separate file with dot min dot css extension during the CSS minification process, various characters such as spaces, tabs, line breaks, and comments are removed or shortened. However, the CSS code itself is not altered in any way, so the visual appearance of the web page remains the same. Minified CSS is still valid and can be interpreted by the web browsers and other applications just like regular CSS. It is important to note that CSS minification is often combined with other performance optimization techniques such as code concatenation, image compression, and caching to further improve the speed and performance of web pages. Many web development tools and frameworks also include built-in CSS minification tools or there are standalone minification tools available that can be used as part of a web development workflow. But that's it for this tutorial. If you have anything particular related to this, you can comment below. And this is how we can minify CSS in different ways. Furthermore, I have created tutorials on minification already. Those tutorials also include JavaScript and HTML minification. I have also shared a tutorial on creating a minification workflow. I will link those in description. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.